Hi there, Loy Macedo. Speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay. Uh, have a look at Gulf News, Police Times, uh, Arabian Business, any of the Middle East uh, media reports. And they will tell you that uh, Dubai is booming. UAE is booming. Property prices are going through the roof and they are selling millions and billions worth of property. In fact, they are reviving dead projects. Now, when you read all this, you know, a person who really thinks will ask, how is it happening so suddenly? Why is it happening so suddenly? And obviously people, you know, in the media, they would say it's a leadership. It is the vision. It is uh, Dubai is the happening place. Now, the problem with these media houses is who are based in UAE, you cannot tell the full truth. Okay. And if you want to find the real truth, you need to dig a little deeper, which is where I started doing a little bit of digging and I found out why is Dubai's market booming? Why are the rent prices going up and up and up? From where did all this money and investors come in? Okay. There are three articles. Uh, links are put down below. But to make it easier for you, I'll give you a summary of those three articles. The first one is from CNBC. Uh, which was released in March 17th, 2022. It says property booming in san sanction-free Dubai as Russian interest spikes. Okay, so this was an interview with uh, the property magnate Hussein Sajwani, who before during COVID, he was crying because obviously none of his properties were selling. But now he is riding on a record high because of the $35 billion, just let that sink in, $35 billion market transaction that took place in March. Okay, Sajwani, so who has, uh, you know, he always promotes UAE, he said, now Russians are seeking refuge, imagine March, Russians are seeking refuge in UAE because of the ongoing war in Ukraine. A lot of Russians are coming here, a lot of people from Ukraine are coming there, they are buying properties left, right and center, and the main reason why they are looking into it is because in Europe, in USA, in uh, uh, UK, they are seizing, you know, they're calling them oligarchs. In USA, it is a billionaire investor, visionary. It is, you know, they get all these nice positive terms. They are investors, they are billionaires, they are uh, visionaries, leadership and, you know, whatever. But Russians, see, when an American does it, he's a billionaire. But when a Russian does it, he's an oligarch. Okay, see the word selection. So what they started to do is they started to seize all their money, property, wealth, everything. Uh, you know, just take, oh, suddenly we'll just change your rule. All your money is our money. Sorry, it's illegal. Give it. I'm taking everything. So because of this, those Russians, all of them, they decided, okay, why not come to a place where they will not harass us like this, not take our money and give us this bullshit uh, title of oligarch. So all of them started to come to Dubai, UAE. And because of which UAE started to face pressure from the Western uh, powers. And they called uh, them, uh, what? They put them on a gray list, the gray list, which was uh, for uh, the Financial Action Task Force, FATF. Okay, it's called FATF where they put seven uh, countries and uh, UAE was one among them, along with Turkey, Jordan, Pakistan. Okay. However, what Sajwani said as per this report is saying, you know, as long as you bring it properly, as long as you bring it to, you know, the banks or crypto, we don't have an issue. And he also said that we are looking forward, you know, they're looking forward for the Iranian-American peace treaty, after which that happens, it will be a major boost for Dubai. So this article was on March, March 17th. Now, July 7th, the next one came, that is Villas by the Sea. You remember uh, Arabian Business or uh, I think Kalish Times was saying that they are planning to revive the Palm Jumeirah, which was a dead project, or they are planning to bring the world and they're planning all these sea projects. Why? Because the Russians, the rich ones, they like Villas by the Sea. And uh, because of which, uh, in July, the property prices were up by 45%. Property sales, property sales went up by 45%, imagine. And 51% in May. Um, so, 
and uh, the real estate luxury market has bounced back with a 100% sales increase. Who are the buyers? The buyers are all rich Russians. Okay. And uh, because of this, uh, because of all the number of Russians coming in, they have doubled year on year to 2 billion dirhams or 500 million US dollars. Uh, one of the Russian real estate agent, uh, obviously he has to remain anonymous, he popped a bottle of champagne as per this report and celebrated a record commission because of his fellow citizens buying homes in the desert oasis. One saleswoman raked in Russian, uh, mostly, 4 million dirhams in commissions. You remember there was one Irish guy who said record uh, sales he made. See, from where is all this money coming in? Okay. A uh, billionaire oligarch, they call him oligarch, Roman Ebramovich, former owner of Chelsea Football Club, and longtime associate of Russian President Vladimir Putin, he was hunting for a house that time in uh, Palm Jumeirah. And uh, obviously, he has already purchased it. The tycoon's private jet alone, his jet itself is worth 350 million US dollars. And it has been grounded in the Emirate because the US Justice Department wants its seizure. The influx of Russians from Russia, as well as uh, Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS, a group of nine former Soviet countries spanning Europe, Eastern Europe, the Caucasus and Central Asia has pumped all their money into UAE's property sector. Okay, so now, now do you understand why the property is rising. It's it's not that suddenly Dubai has become, no. Because of the war, UAE is the only place where you bring in money, will not ask you questions. We don't care you're an oligarch, we don't care you're a what. Whatever you are outside, as long as you're come to invest in our country and be a good person, we don't have a problem. Okay. Uh, then you have uh, Mira Estate CEO Tamara Gettys Gez Hiva said, the war in Ukraine and the impact of sanctions in Russian-speaking individuals and the establishment have led wealthy CIS investors to flee their country and find a haven in Dubai. CIS billionaires and entrepreneurs have been flocking to UAE in record numbers. Okay, following the decision of UAE to remain neutral, Russians have flooded the market. And UAE, which is 90% all expatriates, why not? Um, in fact, this is the part which... I think will ring a bell. Russia is going to lose 15,000 millionaires. And those 15,000 millionaires are making Dubai their home. Dubai Brokerage Better Homes re has released a ranking that from 10th, Russians from the 10th place have now jumped up to the fifth top buyers list. And they're literally purchasing, uh, what? Uh, wait, wait, one minute. UAE is a top destination for the ultra wealth, uh, fo forecasting that it will also receive an additional 4,000 new multi-millionaires. They are going to come to UAE. Okay. Villas on the water. Uh, Russians love to buy villas on the water, especially with the climate, the beach, because Russia is cold. So they like it. And that is where uh, luxury properties of uh, Palm, Jumeirah, Imar, beachfront properties, La Mer properties, are being sold out. Anything with the water and a good view is their first preference. Uh, then later on, you'll see this part of the deal that uh, block deals, block deals, that means they'll buy the whole floor. Uh, rich buyers prefer to buy the entire floor, which costs them on an average seven to 10 million US dollars. Russians are among the top 10 nationalities. Now, obviously the top five. Many Russians are also purchasing with cryptocurrency. But now what is the drawback? Drawback is anti-corruption activists and lawmakers accuse Dubai of being the hub for dirty money. Kremlin critic Bill Browder has called for the Emirate to put a to be put on the financial blacklist, which anyway, you pay money, they will remove that. Uh, and members of the European Parliament in May accused the UAE of facilitating money laundering on a large scale. Obviously, if you pay money to the politicians, they will also close their eyes. Once again, the Financial Action Task Force has put you in the gray, gray list. Nothing else, nothing is going to happen. The final report, which the latest one was September 28th. If you see, again, links are down below. Because um, Putin made it mandatory for people to join the army, um, 
every flight, the flights which are costing 350 US dollars, the same flight, even Emirates is charging 5,000 US dollars because of the demand. It seems uh, the prices for every ticket, which was roughly $350, is now 2,500 minimum to 4,700 legally. But when they are, you know, selling, it goes above 5,000. And if you want to rent a private jet, that is two and a half times, two and a half times uh, the increase from Petersburg, Russia. Okay, yeah, uh, according to statistica.com. Okay, and uh, if you want to rent out a private jet, uh, the cost is 20,000 British pounds to 25,000 British pounds. That is roughly 21,000 US dollars to 26 on a private plane. And the best part is it's all sold out, sold out. Let that sink in. Uh, the demand has increased more than 50 times than what it used to be. And they still cannot get a seat. Um, you know, these apps where they show all the planes are flying and all that. If you see that, you'll see a long, uh, large number of flights all flying to the UAE. Why don't you do a little bit of research and find out if what I'm saying is true or false. Flights out of Russia have surged. Uh, satellite imagery shows a long list of cars backed up. Nearly 100,000 Russians just left last week uh, because the borders of Finland, Georgia, Kazakhstan and all other countries are slowly closing down one by one. So Dubai is the favorite. Uh, the large number of volumes have increased considerably and uh, they are investing left, right and center. Left, right and center, I'm using. That's the word I'm using in the luxury property sector. Uh, the population of Russians living in UAE before was roughly 40,000, but now it should be much more. Pretty sure it will go triple, triple. Okay. Uh, I know one of them says here, flights from Russia to Dubai are booked for next uh, couple of days. Prices are crazy. Flights to Istanbul are full. Armenian capital full. Yerevan full. Uh, five to six people who I personally know have arrived in Dubai. They are ready to pay insane prices. The problem is, uh, the reason why is you receive a document that calls you for military service and you are not allowed to exit the country. That is why Russians are fleeing. And uh, finally, uh, towards the end, it says a Dubai based pilot from UK described Russian friends and colleagues uh, literally pleading for them and their relatives to get out and move to other countries. Hmm. Well, anyway. So this is the reason why Dubai, the property prices are rising, why billions are being sold. It's all because of the war. Now, um, will that have a negative effect? No, absolutely not. When you get high net worth individuals coming into the country, it brings a lot more revenue, brings in more liquidity, brings in more opportunities for more business. So everyone is going to be happy in UAE. Now, that is going to be until until the war continues. When the war stops, we don't know, maybe two years, three years, five years, whenever, then only something is going to happen. Until then, it's a very good time to go to UAE. It's a very good time to hunt for jobs. It's a very good time to start a new business because now you have new buyers. Uh, the only problem, only problem I foresee is with all this money coming in, you're also going to get unwanted elements. You're going to get fraud, scammers, money laundering, illegal activities, all this will also rise. So be careful of that. But then again, better to have lots more money than not to have any money. Let me know what are your thoughts and uh, were you surprised with this? I'd love to hear your opinion. Comment down below. This is me signing off. You guys take care.